Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Math Bell. My name is Michelle, and here I share strategies, tutorials, ideas, tips, and more with elementary math for parents and teachers. Today is day 14 of our 30 day back to school math resource challenge. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to create a simple geometry worksheet that you can use to feature points, lines, line segments, parallel lines, angles, and rays. So you give your students a lot of practice with identifying the differences between them. So let's get started. So let's set up our page. And we'll change our layout. I'm going to start out by adding in a text box. We're going to add in just this simple title. Bring that down. I'm going to duplicate by hitting Command D on my keyboard. If you have a PC, Control D to duplicate that text box. And then we're going to just change this to names. And then shift in the dash line makes an underscore. And this worksheet is going to just be like a practice page. It could even be a quiz if you want it to be, where I'm going to show an image and then have multiple choice answers. So we're going to start by adding in four images, an image of a point, a line segment, a ray, and a line. And actually we're going to add an angle here. So for our first one, we're going to add in a text box. I'm going to put number one. I'm going to add in a shape to represent a point. If you hold the shift key down, it keeps that circle where the dimensions are the same. If you let go of the shift, the dimensions will change. So I'm going to hold down the shift as I'm holding that circle and then make it just a little bit smaller. So this is the image and I want students to tell me what this image is. Let's change the color. And then for our answer choices, we're going to add another text box, change the font, sensible choice letters. these to be lowercase. I'm going to select them and come up here and put lowercase so that they're all lowercase. And then I'm going to, I want them to, there to be a little bit more space between the choices. So I'm going to come up here to line spacing and then choose that 1.5. Right click group together. Then I'm going to select it and then hit Command D to duplicate and then bring that over and then change out the information. So the next image we're going to look at group this. I'm going to get rid of the point and I'm going to do a line segment. So I'm going to insert a line and then draw it here. And we're going to zoom in so we can see it up close. And I want to add in circles to be on the ends of the line just like these green circles are now. So we're going to select the line, make it black, and then change the width or the weight of the line to make it thicker. Now we're going to add in our circles on the end and change it to black with no outline. And then I'm going to duplicate it. 
and put it one on the opposite side of the line and then select all of it right click and group it together let's zoom back out so there's our line if you want to change the size of the line just change or save the image as a picture and then you'll be able to manipulate that line even more so let me show you how to do that really quick I'm going to select that image right click it save as picture and save so now I can insert that image and manipulate it however I want to and everything stays the same here if I made it bigger or smaller those circles on the end would change size so I'm going to delete that and then input my image that we created and let's decrease the size and place it here and then just move around some of the answer choices Going to select all of that one right click and group together so let's select both questions duplicate to make our number three and number four let's change this to number three and this one to number four so for this one I am going to get rid of let's ungroup and I'm going to get rid of our line segment and add in a ray. So I'm going to add in an arrow, one sided arrow. Let's zoom in. Let's change our line color to black. And then the weight to three. And then we're just going to add in a dot like we did for our line segment. color get rid of the outline and then we're going to select it together let's group it we're going to right click and save as a picture save let's zoom back out we're going to get rid of that image and then insert the one we just created Again, so that we can resize it however we want to and everything stays proportional so let's change our answer choices and then over here for number three let's ungroup and we are going to make an, an angle so I'm going to zoom in I'm going to go to shape and we are going to choose our one-sided arrow line select that and hit command D to duplicate or control D if you have a PC and then let's move it so that we can join them together and create that angle let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see where those edges are meeting where those endpoints are meeting we're gonna add a dot to emphasize that an angle is two rays that are connected at one point let's change the size of our rays or the, the weight of our rays and let's change the color to black as well as our circle which is going to work as our endpoint to black Okay, so let's select all three of those shapes and I'm going to right click and group and then right click and save as picture, type in angle, save it, let's get rid of this one and then insert our saved image and again we can shrink it or make it larger. Zoom back out. And then we're going to change our answer choices. Let's group number three back together. And make
make sure four is grouped together. And then all of them, we're going to make a little smaller. Let's decrease our font size. All right, so we're gonna take three and four and duplicate them. And then change this to number five. Change this to number six. And then we're going to add in our types of lines. So we're gonna go up to shape and we're gonna choose our double-sided arrows just going to draw a line. Let's zoom in. We're going to duplicate that and I want to represent parallel lines. So I'm going to select both of them and then go change the color to black and then the weight to three. And then I'm going to group those together. Then let's shrink them. Bring them here. Let's separate them just slightly. And group back together. And then do the same over here, except for we're going to make perpendicular lines. So I duplicated the parallel lines, and then I'm going to ungroup them. to change the direction of the second angle. And there are our perpendicular lines because when they intersect, they form right angles or 90 degree angles. So I'm going to select both of them and group, and then I want to change the direction of it, and we're going to shrink it. So the angles change slightly when I shrunk it because I don't have it saved as an image, so I'm going to readjust them so that the angles form 90 degree angles. Okay, that looks straight. So I'm gonna select it again. Let's move it up a little. I actually wanna thin out the lines, so I'm gonna go back up to shape format, go to the line, and then go down to two and a quarter. And let's go down to one and a half. That looks better, I like that better. And let's choose our answer choices. We're gonna zoom out. So we have all six questions on our page now. I'm just gonna add in a border. So that's how you create a geometry worksheet featuring points, lines, line segments, angles, and rays. So I'm gonna save the PowerPoint and press save. Then I'm gonna file and export it as a PDF, same name. Then we're going to open that PDF up and there's our PDF that we can have ready to print. I hope this tutorial helped. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below.